Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 and January 1st. I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to sell our silage and make some bank. Yes, indeed we are. I checked the shop. Uh, nothing of interest to us. Uh, there's this magnificent case, Quadratrack AFS Connect Series Tractor, but it is still almost a quarter of a million dollars even on sale. <laughs> so we're not doing that. 45-foot header, not going to happen. Um, this looks similar to the Fint Combine that was on sale a couple of months ago, but again, kind of out of our range. And then there's a couple of, that's a direct uh, drill and a nice 8-meter subsoiler, but it's not the one that you can also create fields with. So not interested, unfortunately, in any of that stuff. So yeah, um, it's January. Best time to sell most things. Uh, we are waiting until the next month to sell the honey, though. So I think uh, we're just going to hop in our pickup trailer and start picking up bales and taking them down to... Everything should be silent here, yeah. Taking them down to the animal dealer, because the animal dealer has the best price. Uh, at least it did right before I started the recording. So, so we're talking silage here. Yeah, animal dealer's given 192 The biogas plant is... Oh, no! The biogas gas plant is now 194 so now they're giving the best price. Okay, well, we'll take it to the biogas plant then. Maybe what we should do, though, is check it after, you know, every few loads to see if it keeps changing. All right. So we are sitting at $96,444 at this point. And we'll see what we end up with when this is all said and done. So this is going to take several trips, of course. So I think we'll just uh, time lapse this, put some music on, and uh, yeah. So enjoy the music, guys. Let's make some money.
right, guys, two hundred and ninety-one thousand dollars and one hundred twenty-seven dollars is where we currently are. If we look in here, um, we sold a uh, hot. Wow, I underestimated one hundred ninety-four thousand six hundred eighty-two dollars worth of bales. I figured we'd get at least 150 well i think i said in the previous episode 150 to 175 but look at that that is just amazing and that's going to be even higher next year because we're going to keep on planting hay fields that's fantastic all right so here's what's going to happen here is what's going to happen um og's getting on his cell phone right now to his banker and he's wiring the money to him because we my friends are no longer in debt to the bank. Yeehaw! And we still have $91,127 to boot. All right, we are debt-free. Hallelujah, that is just the best feeling in the world. And it really is, too. Uh, in real life, too. <laughs> So that's amazing. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, that field that has the barley on it that I want to buy is $180,000. But we don't really need to buy it until July because we can't do anything with it until July anyways. And we will have, whoa, plenty of time. In fact, we'll have two uh, hay, con uh, hay cutting contracts before, uh, well, by the time July rolls around. And uh, so we're just going to, be really careful and set on our money so that we have $180,000 when when July rolls around so we can harvest that crop. Uh, in fact, we might even want to buy it in June just in case the computer farmer harvests it like as soon as July. Yeah, we'll probably want to buy it in June. Uh, but in case you didn't catch the last episode, um, it is this field uh, right across the way here. Let's go look at it again. It's quite a dip there. So it's this field right here. So it's got a crop of barley on it. But the thing that's really amazing about this field, other than the fact that it's pretty flat and rectangular, which is pretty good, uh, if we go into the map and take a look at here, so you can see it's 180,504, but excuse me, it includes all of this land too. I mean, that's a whole nother field right there. And so what we will do when we buy it is we're, we're going to cut down all the trees on it, cut down all the timber, and we'll make even just a little bit of money off of that. But that's not the main reason. The main reason is to get rid of it. And then we're just going to extend the field all the way to the road and have an even bigger field this will add like a, another 30 percent or more to to the existing field i think so yeah that's going to be great so that's what i'm gunning for um, but man i'll tell you what it feels good to be out of debt i gotta tell you <laughs> it really does uh, because you know we've paid 666 thousand or 100 rather 666 dollars a month to the bank for almost three years now so you do the math on that that's a nice chunk of change there that we no longer have to pay out and that's going to now stay in our pocket uh, so that that feels good and again I, I there's no point in us buying that field until we'll say the end of june we'll buy it at the end of june and we will definitely be able to raise one hundred eighty thousand dollars by that point in time the only thing that could possibly throw a wrench in that is if something comes up in the sales that I just absolutely have to have. Um, and if that does happen, then I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I mean, I, I, I'm I, not saying, and I've already mentioned this to you guys, I'm not saying I'll never borrow money from the bank again. Um, I will do it if it makes sense to do it. Okay? Well, so we'll just leave it at that. Now, there's one other consideration here. Hey is selling at its highest right now too. I really don't have anything to do with this. Hey, I have no cattle. I plan on getting cattle in the future, but I can't tell you exactly when that's going to happen. Um, so we could sell these bales too and make another nice big old chunk of change. We're not going to make anywhere near what we made on the silage, but 
there's still a nice little pile of money sitting there and we'll get more hay when we do more contracts. So I'm thinking we should probably sell this stuff. I really am. Let's look at the prices here. So we are talking about hay and the price fluctuation. Yeah, this is the best time to be selling hay right now here in January. So there's probably, I mean, I don't know. There could be $50,000 sitting right here, you guys. Another $50,000. So I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. Um, so let's get, let's get this parked. Yeah, it just, it doesn't make sense for me to hang on to that hay because A, we have no use for it right now. And B, we know we're going to be able to get more easily from contracts. So yeah, let's get it sold and let's get even some more money going on here. Um, it's the thing that's going to be fun though is we get to load that stuff by hand because I don't have any way to load that. Unless we want it to maybe lease something, we could look at that. Let's, let's take a look at the store here. Okay, so we want bale loaders. So this, this will stack, I think, three bales. But that's, that's for putting them in stacks. That isn't going to help us load them on a trailer. Does this thing actually load? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, we have another possible option here, and that is, let's take a look at front loader tools. Fork with grapple. I mean, we we tried this bale spike with round bales. We tried this thing, I could never get the clamp to work properly. But that might be easier to use with square bales. But there's this thing here. So that looks to me like we can just get right underneath a stack of hay and pick the whole stack up. Um, I'll bet you that would work. And we can put it on the front loader. All right. Um, it's only 5600 bucks, And we probably would want something like this for when we do start doing our own square bales. But let's not buy it quite yet. Let's just lease it. It's only going to cost us $285. And let's see how I like that. Yeah, that could be cool. Okay, so uh, we need to get the baler out of the way. So let's do that first. Uh, well, actually, we need to get the baler and the roller out of the way. Both of them are in the way right at the moment. So let's pull these guys out. And then we'll have to get the McCormick because that's the tractor with the front loader. <laughs> Excuse me. Gesundheit. So, yeah, we'll just pull these things off over this way for now. And I'll put them back later. I did the math on this a bale holder. This thing actually holds three loads of bales and, and, and even like another bale on top of that. So and we might uh, we might even get another one. It's pretty nice to have, but it certainly wasn't enough for all of the, the silage this year. And we're going to have even more next year, which is, as I like to say, a nice problem to have. Yes, indeed. Nice and easy. Okay, 
So, set that down nice and gentle like. Whoa. All right. This thing is way better than using the forks, you guys. Way, way better. Okay. Yeah, um, it works really well, in spite of the fact that I can't figure out how to work the clamps. Really well. I'll probably just come back here and, well, yeah, we're not really nice and straight into it, though. Here, let's get these two next. I guess that's already up against that. Okay. All right. Now, let's go around the other side and just shove that other one in a bit, and then we can scrap it. Is it possible to do this? Okay, I think that's, that's not, it, it's not terrible. It's not the best, but it's not terrible either. This one's actually on nice and straight on that side. I've had bad luck moving these bales in the past, uh, you know, but we weren't using the right tool. This is definitely the right tool for this job. And uh, if we're going to continue storing bales in our barn, and we are, uh, we're just going to flat out buy this thing. It's not that expensive anyway. But not necessarily right away, though. Our highest priority right now is to get that field. So we're not going to be spending non-essential money until we have that field. And again, this was like, what, less than 300 bucks to lease? Going, what are you doing? What are you doing to me, man? I'm still clear on this side? I think so, yeah. Sometimes Getting the right camera angle can be tricky. Okay, let's get that strap down. Are my tires squashed? <laughs> um, all right, so here's the thing now. Do we want to... Uh, go three high that would be we could get eight I don't think we better go three high in the pickup but if we got we could get eight more on there but we have more than eight bales so 
we're still gonna have to do another trip. So yeah, let's not press our luck with that. Whoops, no, I don't wanna sleep. Let's not press our luck with that. Don't spear your truck. Then it will be your your uh, fault that your paint's wearing out. <laughs> like big time. Okay, so, you know what, that's gonna bug me. So, we're just gonna, we're gonna cheat a little bit here. <laughs> I just wanna bump these up against there. Yeah, see, that doesn't look terrible. I could have done it with the tractor too, but every once in a while, you know, you just gotta, a little bit i guess <laughs> i don't know um if there are any young kids watch me don't listen to anything i just said because that's actually not true you don't ever want to cheat i'm a bad example oh my truck is pulling this guys like it's nothing it's like yeah no big deal i've got over 400 horsepower <laughs> it's not really I wasn't really concerned about the, the truck being able to pull it as much as I was about the stability. I bet we could go three high on this, but anyway, maybe we'll try that some other time. Let's go into here and we'll see who's got the best prices on hay. It is, doesn't matter, animal dealer's closer. So let's go to the animal dealer. They're both selling for the same amount. Oh, you know what? We gotta unload these. All right, in that case, in that case, yeah, we're gonna have to, I, I completely forgot about that. We gotta unload these. Uh, all right, let's get, let's send a, a worker in our pickup up there and we'll have to take the tractor up. Go to, yeah, okay. So here, you just stage right there. Don't scratch my truck. And don't crash into my house either. What? Dude. All you gotta do is turn right. Oh, for Pete's sake. You want something done? Here, leave. Get out of there. Okay. Oh man, you guys, this truck doesn't even know there's a load of hay on here. It's like, eh, just a normal day. All right, now let's see if the worker can handle it from here. That pickup truck rocks. Okay, so grab the truck, create the job, go to stage here. Blocked by what object? Okay, yeah, there's something messing with the AI. It doesn't know how to handle it. So here, let's do this instead. Let's have them bring the tractor up. But we need to take the stack of hay off of it. Oh, actually, no, that's too much weight. I was gonna say they could drive the stack of hay up, but nah. <laughs> I wouldn't even try that. Not with four bales anyways. Oops. No, careful. You know what we should have done, actually? We should have leased the, the square bale pickup. I mean, because we're going to have to make two trips there, two trips back. It's all the manual loading. And it's kind of too late now, though, because I'm halfway into it. But how much does this thing cost to rent? Or to, yeah, to rent, lease, whatever. Eh, 4,500 bucks. Nah. Nah, we're, we'll be fine this way. All right, well, let's get the worker out in front of us. Okay. 
So you, where do I want you to park? Yeah, you can park right there. Now, can you handle that? Hey, I worker, not ready to drive. Bail King not in transport mode. What? How do you get it in transport mode? And why did he shut my tractor off? Oh, I need to, I need to repair this thing. Um, fold front loader tool X. There's nothing to fold. It doesn't do anything. You know, I, this isn't, I don't even think this is a mod. I think this is just a base game implement too. But it's just, it seems weird, man. Like it doesn't work right. All right, well, then we're, <laughs> we're gonna have to drive them both down. I'm just gonna teleport back to the other one because this is too much screwing around. In the real world, the worker would have had no trouble driving either the pickup or this up to the, to the place. But it tells me I need to fold it up, but it, it, nothing happens when I hit that button, so I don't know what's, what the deal is. Anyways, guys, I think what I'm going to do at this point is time-lapse the rest of this. And so I will, I'll be back when we're finished selling all of the hay bales. We'll see where we end up with.
All right, guys, that wraps up our hay bale salage, salage, salage. Uh, this front tool is very nice uh, for moving square bales. And I think we will, at some point, we'll buy it. We'll watch for it, on, you know, on the sale. But anyway, um, I think that wraps things up, guys. We're going to send, um, uh, try and send a worker back in the tractor. They got, I don't know if you guys noticed this in the, or noticed it in the time lapse, but they got stuck on the highway there. Um, so hopefully, hopefully they can make it back. All right. And, um, yeah, I think we could, we could easily get away with stacking three high on this trailer. And I mean, maybe even four high it's again, it's not, I'm not worried about the truck being able to pull it as much as I'm worried about the stability of it. But let's take a look and see where we're at. So we're basically, we started selling the hay at about 90,000 and now we're at 112,000. So we basically made 22,000 ish on selling that hay. And that was free hay. I mean, it was the hay that was left over from the contracts, the little extra that we get at the end. And, um, you know, normally in the past, I just sold that at the time I was doing the contract, but this time we stored it and waited until January to sell it. Now, you know, if you take into account the labor and the time it took for me to, to do all that, um, I don't know if it was actually worth it or not. I mean, we got the best price in January, but let me put it to you this way. If we would have just sold those bales straight up over the air and made 15000 I probably would rather do that. But if it would have been less than that, then it was probably worth it to do it this way. I'm not really sure. But anyway, we are in very, very good shape, my friends. We are out of debt from the bank. We do not own the bank a dime, which means no more interest coming out every month. And we have $112,000 um, of cold, hard cash. And so, you know, we only, we only need 180000 to buy that barley field. And we will easily get that, you know, from doing contract work. So, yeah, we're in pretty darn good shape. We are in pretty good shape. But I think I'm going to let you guys go here. And then um, we will... I, I'm... I'll, yeah, I will bring you back in February to sell the honey. Um, well, no, take that back. I'll bring you back January 3rd to sell our produce. Then we'll sleep. Then we'll sell the honey in February. And then if nothing else is going on, we'll probably sleep till March. Um, which, you know, and that'll put us back into our own uh, hay season. So I, that is the tentative plan. But of course, as always, I reserve the right to change my mind. If something else happens. But anyway, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. See ya.